The middle. A lot of sparks out of that yeah. car. I think he cut a tire down. Oh, it slid right up in front of Timmy Hill. To it first, and I think here you see Swanson slide up, and it looks like uh, JJ just all, the, all three of these guys slide up. I wonder if he blew an engine or something. That was kind of strange. Yeah, it's all Tony three Rains. of them slid three up them into off. the. Uh, wall. Side nose. He's up here. He's up. He's up. Come on low. Come on low. Come on. Oh, that's the impact for Reed Sorensen now on the inside wall. And into turn one. Ouch. Yeah. Even though you're behind him. him. Oh, oh we got trouble. No, look out, Carl Edwards turns, and we've got multi cars into the wall. Leffler's involved in this. The 62 have gone. The 21 of Boyer. I'm just ready to say something. The I'm just ready to say something. Yo. Catch up. Well, he had three cars underneath him. I don't think he realized he had three cars below him. He was involved. Again, the 61 car. Now, what's Carl Edwards? We saw him creeping down the back stretch, and then it slides out from underneath. Him. Yeah, I'm sure the tire just blew there because he really wasn't up to full speed. See, Sorensen moves up there, slides up in front, but just gets. Jumps out from underneath him. It's very similar to what we saw with Ryan Newman earlier when he got into the back of uh, Trevor Bain. I'm not oh, sure there was contact, though. No, I don't think that there was contact there with the I think the 32, just because he got up there, and you get the car probably pushing a lot right there. You give a little tug on the wheel, and then it just snaps loose. Oh, yeah, right front tire went down. Oh, that's a that's, hard lick, too. Yeah, that's a hard hit. I think he might come down and get some of the inside wall right here also. He hit Sorens and stuck on the outside there. Oh, oh his contact. Oh, we got a big problem. Oh, right in the head onto the wall. The 29 car of Scott Wimmer. Contact from the inside on the five and right up. Oh, my gosh. Uh, uh, something. The car turned before it got to the corner. Uh, I'm not sure. If, I don't know. I have to look at it again. Well, let's try a different angle here. Points out of second. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He cut a tire. Caution is out. That was a right front, though. Yeah. Went down. Yes, it was. <laughs> 51 again of Reed Sorensen up into the wall. You have to wonder on a long well, run. Straight away, Reed Sorensen gets turned around and gets nailed by Travis Pastrana. Sorensen gets up in the air for a moment. Oh, and Pastrana takes a hellacious sledgehammer hit to the safer barrier. Bounces off the barrier. Down the banking. Down into the end. Spins. Probably gets in the oil right here. And then the Ford just had to come to a complete stop. Oh, See yeah. the 48 back here. He spins. Here's Harvick right, right behind him. 48. Goes down and the Ford just stops to keep him hitting it. Yeah, you could see the 48 was right in the trap. Sure. A lot of times, June, you have to jump out to keep him running over that car in front of you. Your car will just jump for about a half a lane. I'm telling you, Reed Sorensen was completely underneath Justin Allgaier's car. With Taylor and Hart, also in it. Here we go. Looks like, Looks like Kyle's one sideways. Yeah, looked like Kyle got sideways and into Hornets. There's Double zero into Elliott Sadler's 19. Yeah, and then you see Reed, and that's where he gets all his damage. He kind of KOs the wall, and then Elliott Sadler. Looks like Bobby Labonte got into it. See a splitter. On wow. fire. Wow. I saw a big fireball as he went in that corner. This axle is probably laying on the racetrack somewhere. It's a great big piece of steel, a steel bar. And right, even when the spotter's hollering at you, way back there where you see that 78 car get sideways, you just can't slow down. Uh, actually, it was a Scott Speed's car. Yeah, Ooh, I think you're right. Yeah. That's a hard lick, too. Oh, there's a car. Who is that? The 48? Oh, Logano's in it. Yep, the and 48. Bush and Reagan and more. The 48 broke loose. Looked like something may have happened to it. Like he was just well, he caught the he caught the grass in that trial. Yeah. That's what it was. Happens a lot of times. 
Oh, man, that was a hard lick, too, on the outside. And that's where Vickers was just trying to avoid. Wow. And it's just not Elliott Sadler's day. No, and the 11 and surely wasn't Dario. Oh, there's Sorenson. the 41. Yep, that's front. The left front tire was down on that car. That kind of pictures speak for themselves. Yeah, yeah, she was just into the back of the, of the 98. Got him extremely loose as he tried to correct it. Danica tried to go to the high side. More and, contact. And Travis Pastrana. Really just kind of a stack-up effect. Like was one of them got on the brakes and it's kind of forced. Yeah, and look at Tony Stewart just missing this crash. Man, here's where it really gets gets exciting. Man, we talked about that there's nowhere to go as you come off of these corners. And when something like this happens, you, you really have, you make a commitment and you've got one opportunity really to miss this wreck. Tony Stewart did a great job. Some others got... Never feels good, and Reed is out of the race. Really be feeling it tomorrow. Yeah, that 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 right there is exactly where Kyle Busch hit two years ago, and that was not protected like it is now. So good job on the speedways part, and I'm glad. Avoid. Well, if you're ever going to hit the wall, backing it in against a soft wall, that's a, the best way to do it. But when you see these cars coming at your door as you're parked in the middle of the racetrack, Autumn. that's it. I mean, like the 37 got into Tony. See Tony there. I thought he had to say, and it bounced right out into mm. the outside wall. Working, trying to work on the low side. So Reed moves up to give him room, and there's, oh, man, that's too bad right there. Just not enough room. Yeah, I think apparently Reed Spotter might have hollered at him that Casey Kane was to the inside or there was a car to the inside. Less than a mile to go. Oh, we got a wreck. Third generation star Dale Earnhardt Jr. brings him to the flag. Checkered flag waving. It's over. It's Earnhardt. Kaslowski up into the wall there. This car just not very good. Whoa. And yeah. two other cars. Oh, the 32 of Reed Sorensen. What about opening to get down to the bottom? Oh. Get on the pit road. He's got uh, man, I knew that was coming. Be careful here, be careful. Knew that was coming. I mean to your screen. Wow. Looks like he was by himself. He just got loose at that very, very troublesome spot getting in turn number three. Remember, that's where the transition from straightaway to corner, the bank really doesn't seem to start quick enough. That's a, He have a tendency to get loose right in that area, and that looks like that may have you been You can see there are at least four wide here, but it looks like the first contact looked to me like it was Elliott Sadler in the back of Junior. Yes, I was going to say that. That's what triggered everything, but they were only asking for trouble at four wide. We've talked about how wide a racetrack this is, but... It wasn't wide enough for that. We see again as that's, it starts here. You got people back here that are starting to trying to slow down. They see what's happening, and then uh, Reed Sorensen got into the back of uh, David Rudeman and uh, David Gillen. Leader from Jamie McMurray, Denny Hamlin, and Martin Truex as Reed Sorensen gets into the wall. No, Justin no. got hit from, from behind. From behind by the 12 car. Yep. And Stephen Walsh made contact to the inside wall as well. Now watch this. Dang. Hanging tough here on the restart. Oh, here oh, we, we go. Got trouble. That's Casey Kane that goes sideways. Joey Logano nowhere to go. Oh, my. Clint Boyer the field through the grass. Gone. The big one at Daytona has happened at lap 97. That is the huge one at Daytona. Justin Allgaier. Oh, and the Denny 18 Hamlin. gets on its roof. And Kyle Busch rolls upside yeah, down. That's the biggest thing. As we see Reed Sorensen get into the corner here. He was about middle of the racetrack and trying to carry that speed. And... All it takes is just a split second that you lose grip, whether it's the front or the back, and it looks like obviously there, Reed lost. Laney sliding backwards. There's the contact with Burton. Yeah, it looked like uh, Blaney tried to come down, thought he had that slot open, and Jeff Burton was trying to fill that spot on the bottom of the racetrack, and they got together. Close calls right there. Cars just missing this accident. Big crash, and uh, now again. 915 is sporting the 08 car spin. Jason White, watch the impact right there. Oh, my heavens. The good Bobby Labonte, he backed off just a little bit. Yeah, well, you got to back off somewhere over. down going in that corner anyway. It's just you yeah. hope the guy behind you is paying attention. And David Reagan ran up on Bobby Labonte and turned him around. And 
started all of this. Four. Looks like a right front tire went down and shot him right in the wall. And oh my goodness, there goes Reed Sorensen up over his left rear tire. Boy, that was a hard. See what happens here. Oh, Boy, that that's way happened. early. I wonder if that's not a tire. It's almost got to right. believe it was because that thing turned sideways before it ever got to the corner. It's like he ran over something, cut the tire. Man. Let's see what happens. Do they make contact? Yikes. Yep, a yeah. little bit of contact there right at the start finish line. Close call right there. Woo. Uh oh, oh got trouble up front. Biffle right in front of Junior. Call Kids Edwards. Is in it. Oh, and turns Quapel into the outside wall. And Kevin, a lot Larkin. of chasers involved in this one. Oh, 17. I wouldn't get off there if you could drive it. This is definitely the big one we were looking for, guys. I, you know, I was afraid. I was hoping we had not seen or we had seen. Very unfortunate. It yeah. looked like the 41 had gone. He got into the grass uh, to try to miss the, the accident, and when you get in that grass, you just never know what's going to happen, and he came back across and, and took the 88 and then uh, subsequently the 47 uh, into him. So. Well, actually, it's not even part of it. It's just That's a stack the up there with car. the 96. Yeah, but Menard, Sorensen, Sadler, and Waltrip. That's Here the, comes the 38. There's the 09, and what happened was the 38 tried to squeeze in between uh, 44 there of, of Labonte, and it got him up into uh, the 09 of Wallace, and that's when they took off. And to me, the luckiest man that we just have here is Kevin Harvick in the 21. He had just cleared this group moving back to the front. Set up, big right rear, soft left front, makes a U-turn. Just nowhere for Jamie McMurray to go, as well as Reed Sorensen, the 41, just a victim as well. I think there's some other guys back there probably got some nose damage as well by now on the back stretch. Wow. Well, it looks like uh, Ryan Newman just ran wow. over the 04 car. They run into each other down in turn three. That spread over about a mile and a half or a mile of the racetrack. And, and what happened was when Casey was not squared up with the 12 when he hit him, the 12 was over just a little bit. It was six car was trying to make a second oh. push. There's Reed Sorensen around on the back stretch and into the wall. Caution is out. Different angle. This crash. Kurt Busch over. There's Newman's car coming across. A ricochet. Truex in it. Casey Kane in it. Jimmy Johnson with contact. Jeff Green, the 10 of Riggs. 41 of Riggs. get organized in that outside lane like they were earlier. Whoa, contact. Stephen Wallace gets sideways. He is tapped from behind. And this is the one no one wanted, the big one late. And Stephen Light has nowhere to go head on into the 41 car. There's the 90 car of Stephen Light. was having such a great wall. Gets kind of bottled up behind him, but you see it's uh, might have been a little bit of a chain reaction. But you see Sadler starts this, the big accident in the back. Yeah, I don't know if he got touched uh, by the seven car there or if, if he just got loose on his own coming up out of turn two. See the 98 car, Paul Menard nosed into the wall. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Nothing you can do when that happens, but hang on and put your teeth. Really down on the flat, and he forces Blaney up into the 61. Reed Swanson has nowhere to go. Joe doesn't. And bam. Boy, Michael took a hard shot. I don't know if he was forced down there, but the 11 was kind of down in the no zone with two wheels on the side of the line. Oh, oh man. On that 32 car. Look at that thing. Holy smoly. Well, who should we ride with? Nobody. Way up in the front. Nobody. Nobody Greg Biffle, our leader, the 66 didn't get caught. Slid up the hill a little bit. A Sorensen is sticking his nose in there between those two cars of uh, Paul Tracy and whoever that was on the Kevin outside LePage. there, Kevin LePage. No place to go, and uh, they, they made contact. And from there, the wreck is on. Johnny Sauter, the double zero, getting some damage coming down pit road. And O'Quinn was put into the wall by the. Yeah, I was looking right over there, Mike, and the thing just took a dead right. Um, Definitely had a tire failure. Tire dodge. Reed, they're going to wreck right in front of you. I got a small clear. Oh. Say hello to the 30. It's up high and he just loses it there. Comes down right. Just clipped Dale Earnhardt Jr. Got Jr. around. But now this is when it really is bizarre. Watch, watch this. 
Hornish already had damage in the hood. See what happened here? And just Kurt Busch just broke loose all by himself. Reed Sorensen, the 41, just dove, looks like he dove down and tried to avoid it. I wonder if someone got in the back Could of the been. 41 car, yeah. maybe, and turned him like that. Because it's a really good run. It just it looked like he got in the back of the 11 car, Kyle. Yeah, that, that wasn't an arrow loose. That was a touch. As a car owner, that is a nightmare come to life. nightmare, exactly. And see, these guys back here, like I was talking about, everybody's checking up, and they got no place to go. On board with Tony Stewart. and 38. Looks like they got together here, the 41 and the 38. But it almost looks like the 38 car, David Gilliland, got loose, and Reed might have reacted to that, jumped out of the throttle, and the car got loose with him also. And he went around, I believe it was a chain reaction, Andy, because of what happened.